I got broads in Atlanta, just to throw in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, family. Wayne C, look like a panda. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Big Daddy. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, you can take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to the is round one gets underway seems to be a striking advantage on one side but on the other truly a fighter who can do it all and that guy will usually have the advantage on paper when you're a striker at this guy's level that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has well we told you off the top he had the reach advantage and you saw it right there with that punch big kick well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Swing and a miss by Lee. He's open for the overhead. Right hand on point. Oh, massive head kick there. 
We'll see if he can finish. Beautiful punch. Throwing that jab, no good. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. All right, so he lands a jab. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Let's go finish this fight. Check that kick as well. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Wow, what a head kick. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Nice hit, bro, nice. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Ooh, what a head kick. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Lee going for the leg kick, he misses. Nice kick. to the body, that one is dropped. Looping left hand misses the target. So we cross the 30 second mark in our opening round. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. All right, so leg kicks on, leg kicks, the big storyline in that round. DC, take us through the replay. Yeah, he was, I mean, what a display of high level striking. What a display of getting the leg to the target very, very quick. So quick that your opponent cannot react. Great job. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, 
Oh, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. Hit him with the overhead. Well placed kick there by Lee. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Head kick blocked. Liver kick. Pretty significant well to the left side. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Real sneaky body kick. Missed with that attempt. Sneaky head kick. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, nice combination there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Good strike there by Lee. Nice one, two there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Big head kick. Connects with a right. Well, missed on that one. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Oh! And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display. By Thus far, how's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Just missing on the uppercut there. to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad for his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, 
I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh. Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful kick. Strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Good punch land. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Massive head kick. Just misses there with the left. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. And he landed the right hand there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. What a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, big punch land. Leg kick. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Big body kick. Right hook to the body. Big kick land. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Kick is blocked. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. 
Roundhouse kicks. Oh, his huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lands the and right hand. Round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Keep that pitching high now. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, nice. Nice. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Big leg kick land. Lunges forward with a left there. Wow! shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly, so near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 30 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.